This is Chuck Solari from Mortadella Head, and today we are going to do a little experiment. Okay, a lot of people have been watching our videos, been reading our blog, where we post a lot of our recipes, and in a lot of our recipes, you know, we might say you need a half a cup of this or two cups of this. A lot of times we're using mozzarella cheese. We've gotten some people asking us, How many cups of mozzarella because I guess when they go to buy the cheese, it comes in pounds. So today we're gonna to do a little experiment and we're gonna to try to answer that question for everybody. Here's what we have today to do this little experiment. Everything that we have here, you probably have in your kitchen. Our stuff is probably a little bit more beat up, not as fancy. First of all, we have the mozzarella cheese. This is what we use to make our pizza, to make our mozzarella sticks. Uh, we put it on a lot of our subs. Mozzarella cheese is kind of like a medium moisture cheese, semi-soft. It's not real soft like a fresh mozzarella cheese, and it's not hard like a Parmesan or a Romano. So it's got enough moisture in it to make it a little bit squishy we're gonna grate this today kind of a pain in the neck to grate but we're gonna do this because you get a better product when you grate it yourself an old-fashioned box grater and I'm not sure which side we're gonna grate it on yet we can do the big holes we can do the small holes we'll see what works the best we got a scale because we have to find out if we have a real pound so this experiment is gonna be accurate and we have I uh, trust the old measuring cups here so we can find out how many cups are in a pound. And we got a nice nice mixing bowl to hold all the cheese when we're done grating. Okay, I got a nice block of mozzarella here. I'm gonna cut a pound off of this so we can start with a full pound of cheese. First piece goes down. We're not quite a pound yet. We're over. Alright, we gotta do this right. Oh exact? About as exact as we're gonna get. But we have a pound of cheese. We're ready to go. Let's move this big block of grande cheese out of the way. And we're gonna bring the cheese right on here. Let's see which side, which set of holes we're gonna think is the best for this experiment. So let's start with the big one first. That's not bad. Let's let's test the smaller side out. Alright, that's too small. Let's go with this. Look what's happening to this thing. It's getting so soft it's hard to grate now. We finished grating. This is what a pound looks like when you're done grating it. It's a lot bigger, a lot fluffier, huh? So when you're reading the recipe, you might see ounces, cups, you might see pounds. But when you see ounces, there's usually two ways someone can use the word ounce. You can have ounce like weight ounces, you know, 16 ounces in a pound. Or then you could use volume, volumetric ounces, how would you say that? There's eight ounces of water in a cup of water. Fluid ounce, that's what so you kind of always have to make sure you're using the right ounces when you do it because a pound of cheese is not necessarily 16 fluid ounces of cheese. But now we're going to find out how many cups are in a pound of cheese. This measuring device here that I'm going to use is a half a cup. So we're going to use this and we're going to find out how many cups are in this pound of mozzarella. Okay, here we go. I'm going to level it off. One cup. One and a half. Two cups. Two and a half. Three cups. Three and a half. Four cups. Getting down to the bottom of the pile. Getting there. Oh God. Pack the rest of it in here. So I think it's gonna be four and a half cups. There's your answer. This is news to me. Probably news to a lot of people out there. I don't know. Am I right? Did I measure it right? I think I measured it right. One pound of mozzarella cheese. Four and a half cups. So when you're making the recipe, use that information. Does everybody feel smarter today? I know I do. Thanks for watching. Portadella. <laughs> Make it nice.